Hello, and welcome to another OneChar educational tutorial session. This session will be addressing documentation of IV drips, such as heparin infusions. Today, we will be reviewing how to properly document IV drips through FlowSheet Doc and proceeding to IV drips through Adult Quick View. Of note, IV drips will be located under various quick views in iView dependent on locations the licensed professional works in, such as Adult ICU Quick View or PACU Quick View, as examples. We will begin by having already signed into OneChart, established a relationship with our patient, and navigated to the orders profile. Here, the licensed professional can click on the power plan or order set. For the purpose of this training session, we will be utilizing the Med Therapeutic Heparin Infusion SV order set. Remember, you can always slide the toolbar across to give you more real estate and you can hover to discover, allowing full view of the name of the order set. By highlighting the order set, just those orders for that power plan will be brought up for viewing. If there are orders in general for the nurse to review, remember to click on the Orders for Nurse Review button, which will be highlighted in black, and validate and verify orders as appropriate. Click Review, and now the Orders for Review button is dithered. Starting an IV titration drip must always be done through the MAW, or Medication Administration Wizard, this allows for barcode scanning and safe and accurate administration of medications. In doing so, the medicated drip will automatically flow to the adult quick view IV drip section. And here you can see the heparin drip is located here. Of note, medicated drips, if you hover over them, will give you any details. And of note, heparin has the titration grip located as reference text. To document titration, again, we're navigating to Flow Sheet Doc, Quick View, and depending on if you work in another area, it would be ICU Quick View or PACU Quick View or PICU Quick View. Pick your IV drips. Your heparin medicated drip is here. You're going to insert a date and time, allowing a column with your date and time. Double click into the dosing field. For the purpose of heparin, it's telling you that this is the patient's weight because it is a weight-based medication and also that a witness may be required. Put in your dose and remember to sign with your green check mark. It did not require a witness at this time because the dose stayed the same. For certain medicated infusions, such as heparin, a witness may be required at certain points, such as when a new bag is hung, or rate change or when the drip is held. If a new bag of the medication is needed, you will need to still go to the medication administration wizard, scan and document the medication was given. If a drip needs to be held, you still need to go to the adult quick view, IV drips, insert date and time, and document your rate as zero. When you go to utilize your green check mark, for heparin, it is requiring a witness because that is a rate change. Yellow denotes a required field. Your witness is validating and verifying all of the appropriate fields are accurate, comparing it to your Alaris pump. Have your witness document all of the necessary fields as required. Once that is done, all of the purple areas now become black. Remember that when the drip is restarted to again, insert a date and time. Again, documenting your new rate. Because this is a rate change, when you go to sign the field, it will again require a witness because that is considered a rate change for heparin. denoting all of the required fields, validating and verifying for patient safety so that we are delivering safe and effective care to our patients. This completes the tutorial on how to document IV drips. We hope you found this tutorial helpful.